What is CICD? This is one of the most asked DevOps interviews question and also a very popular DevOps practice that every company is following these days. Now, if I ask you what is CICD process, most of you will stop by saying it is a continuous integration and continuous deployment process. Or you might say a complex definition from a blog or a website that might not make sense. So in this video, I'm going to explain you what is CICD in very simple manner, along with different stages in CICD pipeline, benefits of using CICD in DevOps, some popular CICD tools and also a hands-on demo to set up CICD pipeline for a Python application using GitHub Actions. If you want to understand CICD completely, make sure you watch this video till the end and also practice by doing hands-on demo that you have in the end. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Let's start. So let's begin with what is CICD and I am going to explain you this in very simple and short manner. So CICD is a way to make software faster, safer and efficient by streamlining and automating process like building, testing and delivering of the software. To understand this properly, let's look at the traditional way of deploying an application or a website without using CICD. So imagine you are working in a team responsible for deploying application without using CICD. And to do that, there are going to be different phases or stages. The first phase is going to be the coding phase or development phase, where the developers are going to write the code for the application and there can be multiple developers writing the code. So they need to make sure that the code is integrated at a central place, which can be done using FTP to manually put the code on a centralized server, or they might use version control systems like Git, so they can store their application code on GitHub or GitLab. Now when the source code is ready, they need to compile it which is known as compilation phase, where you compile the code to create a build. A build is something which has code along with dependencies, libraries, which runs the software. Android code will have APK as a build. Java code has jar or var file as a build. Docker image is also one kind of build. Now, when the build is ready and your software is running as you expect it, you need to test it out. The third phase is testing phase. Here, the QA engineers are going to manually test the application to make sure everything is working fine. And this is also a manual process. Once the testing is done and everything is okay, you need to plan the deployment. Now is the deployment phase. So in this, you need to set up a staging server which should replicate the exact production environment and you will deploy your build or your application in this staging server. You need to manually check and test out if everything is working in the staging server before you deploy your application on the production environment. If everything is working as you want on the staging server, you will plan a maintenance window or a downtime to deploy your application on production. After deployment to production is done and your application is up, you still need to continue monitoring and testing manually to make sure that your application is working fine. But if there are any issues, you need to manually roll back and go back to the previous version. So you see, there are so many manual processes, there are so many human interventions, which can cause issues and errors in the deployment process. Not just this, if you want to deploy a new version of your application, you will have to continue the same cycle again and again. This can cause so much issues and can take so much time. This is why companies are using CICD, because CICD can automate all this process. It can automate the building, testing and deploying of an application. So now let's look at the definition. CICD stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery, also continuous deployment, which is a DevOps process to automate software delivery. Using CICD pipeline, you can build code, run tests, and safely deploy your applications on various different platforms or cloud environments. So now you know CICD is a process of continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. But what is actually continuous integration? So continuous integration is a process in CICD pipeline where the members are going to integrate their work or push their code on central repository systems where their code or their work is going to be checked automatically tested out. Next is continuous delivery where you compile the code that you got from the repository and you create the build, test it out and be ready to deploy it. Continuous delivery is a process of making sure that the software is ready and it can be released anytime you want. Last one is continuous deployment which is a process of deploying your application or your software or your build or cloud or servers or Kubernetes cluster, wherever you intend to. This is used to automatically deploy new features and new versions of your application whenever the code is integrated in the repository and then it can be deployed on any server whenever you push it. This three process together creates a CICD pipeline. A CICD pipeline will have different stages including source stage, build stage, test stage and deploy stage. 
So the first one is source stage, which is the starting point of the CI/CD pipeline. When any change is made into your code and pushed to your repository, a CI/CD pipeline will be triggered to go into next stage, which is the build stage. Now, what happens in the build stage? In the build stage, your code is combined with dependencies and libraries to create a build or an artifact that can be deployed in your in your platform. But after the build is created, it is going to go in the next stage, which is the test stage. In the test stage, there are going to be automated tests to test your application code and to check if it behaves correctly. If there are any issues to your application, you can find them in your test stage and also resolve them. Once the test stage is done, it is going to move to the next stage, which is the deploy stage. Finally, in the deploy stage, your application goes live because in this, your application will be deployed on a server after it has passed all the tests and everything works as you want. So these are all the different stages in CI-CD pipeline. Now that you understand what is CI-CD and different stages in CI-CD pipeline, and before we move ahead to look at popular CI-CD tools along with hands-on, let's look at the benefits of using CI-CD process in your application deployment. The first benefit is obviously quicker time to market. Using CI-CD, we can automate the process reduce manual intervention, which allows us to deploy our application faster and bring software releases quicker. Second is higher quality. Automated testing in CI-CD can help us find bugs and issues early in the development process. Third is reduced risk. Using CI-CD, we can push smaller changes and more frequent updates, which are less likely to cause major problems or bring production down. Fourth is collaboration. Using CI-CD, developers, testers, and operation teams can collaborate more effectively. Another benefit could be continuous improvement. The feedbacks that you get throughout the CICD stages can be useful to improve future releases. These are just some of the benefits that you can get through CICD, but there are many big companies that have seen drastic changes after implementing CICD. So companies like HC, Netflix, Adobe deploy more than 50 times every day. Not just this, Amazon deploys new releases every 11.7 seconds, and this is possible only through CICD. Now let's look at some of the popular CI-CD tools in DevOps. Some popular CI-CD tools in DevOps include Jenkins, GitLab CI, GitHub Actions, Travis CI, AWS Code Pipeline, Azure DevOps Services, TeamCT, Bamboo, and a lot more. Your company might be using any of these tools which can depend on the requirement. If you want to learn CI-CD, I would recommend you doing it with either Jenkins or GitLab or GitHub, which are more of the most used CI-CD tools in the market right now. Now that you understand what is CI-CD along with its benefits and different stages of it, let's do a hands-on demo to set up CI-CD pipeline for a Python application on GitHub. Let's go. All right, so I'm here on my computer screen and I have GitHub Actions open here. GitHub Actions is a very popular CI-CD tool that you can use to automate building, testing, and deploying of your application. For this demo, I have a very simple Python application created using Flask module to show us hello world message on our website and this application is containerized so i'm creating a docker container using this docker file and uploading it on my docker hub repository here so if i were to do this manually i need to run the commands docker build docker uh, push to push this image on docker app but i'm going to automate all of it along with some test so i have a test.py file created to run the test on this particular application so th in this test file, I am running a test to check that the message should always be hello world. And if it is something else than hello world, you should give an error. You can see there's a function created to check that the test should always have hello world and it should also have uh, 200 status code. So now to test this out, I'm going to change, make some change in app.py. But before I do that, let me show you the CI/CD pipeline file. So here is the CI/CD file. The name is CI/CD pipeline and it will be triggered whenever there's a push made on the main branch. Now in this, there are two jobs. The first is a build job and then there's a test job. In the build job, there are some steps here and this CHD pipeline is going to run on Ubuntu latest. I have a few steps like check out the code, log into Docker Hub. You can see there's this command going to run. I also need to put username and password in my secrets. So you can do that by going into settings. I'll show you that in a second. After this, I am going to build tag and push the image to Docker Hub. So when the app is ready, the CHD pipeline is going to go ahead and create an image and push it on Docker Hub. To show that in action, I'm going to go ahead and delete this repository. So I'll go here and delete this repository to make sure that CI/CD pipeline will create a new image whenever there's a push made to our repository. So I'm going to go ahead, type my image to delete this. Okay. And this will go ahead and delete it. 
now when the build is done it is going to test the code so it will test by check out the code so then install dependencies and requirement.txt and then using pytest i'm going to test the so here in this we have a test created let's go ahead and try that out so in my app.py i'm going to make a change here instead of hello world i'll say hello ci cd world so let's make it ci cd world i'm going to commit and push this change now so update app.py let's make it test ci cd pipeline uh ci cd demo i'm going to go ahead and commit this change now when i commit this change it should trigger the pipeline so you'll see a pipeline being created here which has been defined now so in this pipeline there are two jobs the build job and the test job so the build is and the test job is running very soon we'll see that the build has been created and you can see the test has failed now so why why is the test failed is if you see here it says hello cicd world instead of hello world and this is the problem so this is because in the pytest we have created a test to see that the message should always be hello world now in the build stage you can see it has checked out the code now it is going to log in it has created the build and now uh, very soon we should see an image created here i'm going to refresh the page and we should have a repository with an image my image which is here all right let's go ahead and so you can see it's pushed very a few seconds ago which is 12:35 right now i'm going to go ahead and pull it along with this i also get i also get a notification on my mail saying that the ci cd pipeline has failed if you can see it this way you can be notified and the developers can make the change whenever they want now i'm going to open my terminal to test out that the my new uh, that the app shows me the new message or not so i'll say docker pull and this will pull the image in my local machine once it is pulled i can also run it so the okay now the pull is ready i'm going to go ahead and run this app so i'll say docker run and the name of the image now it is going to run it here let's open it and it says hello cicd world this is how cicd can make your application deployment very very fast so this was our demo if you want to try this out i'm going to paste the link of this repository below you can clone the code and try it out but make sure to insert secrets such as docker hub username and docker hub password in this secrets and variables section so i have few variables created you can also do the same you don't need any access key id or secret access key unless you are deploying this app on uh, ecs or eks or ec2 instances you just need docker hub uh, token docker hub username and also check other variables if needed so i hope this video this demo has helped you demonstrate how cicd work in real life if you want more projects on cicd make sure to drop a comment to let me know if you want some projects so i hope now you have a complete understanding of what is cicd and you can explain it to anyone also you now know how to set up a cicd pipeline using github actions but cicd is not just limited to automating building testing and deployment you can also use cicd with tools like terraform ansible to automate infrastructure provisioning configuration management and much more if you want to see more advanced projects on cicd let me know in the comment sections and do subscribe to cloudchamp thank you and have a good day